Hi artists, today we are going to be drawing some mittens. Now you may think that this is a hard thing to do, but you already have something that's really going to make it very, very easy, and that is your hand. We know that mittens go over our hands, right? And there's not fingers in mitten, there's just one big part that our hand goes in and then our thumb. So. We're gonna take our piece of paper and put our hand down and we're gonna keep it closed. I know in mittens you can open your hands up, but we're gonna keep it closed and we're gonna set it on the paper with our thumb. We don't want our thumb right next to it, we want our thumb out a little bit. Now we're gonna trace around our hand, but we're not gonna trace around each finger. Watch, I'm not even touching my hand. I'm gonna go around my thumb and around all of my fingers down to the bottom of my hand. And look at what I have. I have the start of a mitten. Now I just have to close that up and make a rectangle at the bottom. I have my first mitten. Now, do I wanna make another one like this? Well, no, of course not, because this hand goes this way. But I have a big problem. I can't hold my pencil in this hand. I'm a lefty. I hold my pencil like this. So how can I put my hand down and trace it? Well, I have a little trick for you. I'm still gonna use my right hand, but I'm gonna flip it over. This is a little bit tricky, a little tough but I'm gonna do the same thing I did before. Go around my fingers and around my thumb to the bottom. <gasps> I have my left mitten. And then I make my rectangle at the bottom. It's so easy. You think it's gonna be really hard. It's not. So now I want to put some decorations on my mittens, but I'm not gonna just draw whatever I want. I'm gonna be drawing different types of lines. Now we talked about this before, about straight lines and zigzag lines and wavy lines and bumpy lines and hopping lines and broken lines. <sighs> so many different kinds of lines. Here's the challenge though. This is the hard part, friends. You want to make both of your mittens the same. That is called symmetry in art. Symmetry means two things that are exactly the same. One on one side, one on the other side, exactly the same. Our hands have symmetry because when you put them together, they are exactly the same. We want to do that for mittens too. So I am going to start with lines and here's my rule. Anytime I put a line on my left mitten, I have to put the same line on my right mitten. So I'm gonna start with a zigzag line. Zig and zag and zig and zag across the bottom. So now I have to do the same thing. It's the same all the way across. Next, I'm gonna make a wavy line. Wavy and a wavy line. Artists, they're not going to be exactly the same, but those are both wavy lines. Now I'm going to make a broken line. Remember, a broken line stops and starts a whole bunch of times. Broken lines that go across. Let's see, what should be next? Oh, I have a good idea. I'm gonna make a hopping line. Hop, 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 hop. You see that I stopped right there? Because that's not my mitten. That's part of the background. Okay, what should I try next? Hmm, I know one I really like. 
snake loop, the loop, the loop, the loop, the loop, boop. And I do the same thing here. The loop, the loop, the loop, the loop. And I just have a couple more. Let's see. Oh, this is a favorite. Castle top lines up and down. Oh, I like those a lot. Up, over, down, over, up, over, down, over, up, over, down, over. That one's fun. Hmm. I'm running out of ideas. I could do another one that's... Oh, I like this one too. This one's, I like to call a heartbeat line. See, it looks like a heartbeat. Now, as I go across my mitten, I have filled it up with all these cool lines. And now I am ready for color. Now, boys and girls, I'm gonna use markers for this. If you do not have markers, you can use crayons for all of this part, that's fine. Crayons work just as well. But the first thing I'm going to do is outline my markers. And if you remember, outlining means tracing on my pencils. I picked purple, you can pick any color you would like, but it is important to know that mittens come in pairs, so they have to look the same. We want symmetry on our mittens. So I am going to trace my pencil line. Remember that is called outlining the same. And now I'm gonna continue outlining. I'm gonna outline all my lines. I am not coloring anything yet. I am gonna outline all of my lines. I don't have to do them in, in order. Maybe I wanna outline this one first. Okay. But remember my rule. If I made my hopping line green on this mitten, it has to be green on this mitten. Your mittens need to look the same. Symmetry. You can decide how they look, but they have to look the same. My loop, the loop's gonna be orange. Now, one of the reasons we're using marker for the outlining is because it's a little bit easier to outline carefully when you're using marker. It doesn't mean you have to. Uh, my broken line is gonna be brown. If you wanna use the same color for all your lines, you can do that, that's fine. They're your mittens. Or if you wanna repeat colors, you can do that too. Maybe I just want my mittens to be blue and pink because they're my favorite colors. Okay, that's fine. They can be whatever color you want. Now, as I'm doing this, I hope that if you're working right now, you're going very slowly like I am. I'm not speeding this up because I want you to see how careful I'm being. I want you to go careful too. Almost got all my colors. And again, I decided I wanted all different colors. Yours can all be the same or they can repeat. Boy, my red is not doing so good. He's almost dried out. I need to get a new red, I think. Um, what color am I missing? Oh, I know what color I'm missing. I wanted to use all of mine. And so, go with pink for the last one. Okay. 
The last thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the same color that I outlined and just do some straight lines down here because usually the bottoms of your mittens look like that. Just straight lines across. Oh my gosh, these are so cool. Do mine look both look the same? Yeah, they do. Symmetry, they look the same. Now, boys and girls, I am ready to color them in. And I'm gonna pick a color I can choose any color I want. If I wanna make them the same as my outline color, great. If I wanna make them a different color, that's great too. It is entirely up to you, but be careful coloring over your lines. It would be better if you colored around your lines. That would be a much better choice. So I'm gonna use yellow because I haven't used yellow to outline and I'm gonna go around my lines when I am coloring. But I am gonna go slowly and carefully. Now I am gonna speed up and show you mine all finished. So now you see that my mittens are all done. And boys and girls, what is really important to me is that you are filling in all the space with your crayon. It took a very long time to color in my mittens because I was going as carefully as I could. You might have noticed I could color right over my marker because I used a light color like yellow. And look down here, I used purple at the bottom and it still showed up. This is why we use marker and crayon because the crayon showed up even with the purple marker. When you are all done with your symmetrical mittens, your mittens that show symmetry, please make sure you write your name on the back of them and bring them into school.